Hello, welcome back. Today we are looking at how to add registration to the application and this will be in just few minutes. If you have not subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification to not miss any of our future videos. So as shown on the blog side, we will install Django registration using pip install django-registration-redux. Now make sure you activate your environment and paste this code and install it. Step number two is to add django.country.site and registration under the install apps. Copy and paste it in settings.py which can be found in Django projects. Settings.py, scroll down. Right here we have Django apps. Paste the two apps here. So usually Django.country to the sites, I usually move it up and leave the registration right below and then save. Move to step number three, do migrations, migrate. Okay, so now copy this code at step number four, paste it in settings.py. So the first line here, account activation days 7. This is giving the user 7 days to activate their account. Like if you allow activation on your website, it will give users 7 days to confirm their usernames or their email address that they use to register to your site. So registration auto login true means if the users registered on your system, they will be automatically logged in. We have site ID 1 by default. We are gonna associate all this registration to that site and login redirect is if users click on login and type your username and password it will be redirected to your home page okay so we will look more into this in the future videos save it and move to step number five so step number five copy this line this allows users to be able to go to the app and then type slash account slash login and if the users type this account I'm gonna paste it right here so if the users goes to localhost slash account slash login it will go into the registration app and look for that URL pack and if it finds any match it will load whatever view is associated to that URL so paste this code and then move to step number six in templates folder create base.html and add the following so I'm gonna copy this code and then right now if you look into the views you will see that our home page is loading the home.html so i'm gonna rename this page or i'm gonna save it as base.html and in base.html i will find a place where i want the login form to appear and paste that code right there so we already have it here but i'm gonna replace it with this code and tap it in save it and now if I go to this URL localhost slash account slash login I'm expected to see the login form like for example if I paste this code and press enter the server is not running so we have to run the server and then refresh Okay, if you have this error message, go back to appcoms.com. On step number nine, you will see a file is uploaded right here. You will need to download this file, extract it, and replace the registration folder that is in your virtual environment in lib, Python 2.7, set packages, and then that error hopefully will be gone. Okay, so download this file, extract it. I'm gonna extract it to the downloads folder and then open the folder copy this folder and paste it in the environment leads python 2.7 side packages and i'm gonna replace this registration folder right here okay. right click and click paste Apply this action to all files, click on merge, apply this action to all files again, replace. 
Now when the copying is done, go back to the app and click on refresh. Okay, so we can see we have a login form. Type in the username and your password. Okay, so right here I'm logged in and but the system is not telling me that I'm logged in or not. Okay, so if I want to log out or if you want to confirm that you logged in, you just type slash admin and you can see if indeed logged in. So now if I want to log out, I'm gonna type accounts slash log out and press enter. Okay, so we have a login button here, but we don't have a logout button. So this is what we want to do. So in Nafa, let's create a login and logout button. I want to re replace this site with the login logout button. So I want to do slash account slash login. Display will be login. And if I refresh, I have a login button right here. Okay. So I'll also have to have a log logout button. And the URL there will be logged out. Now, if I refresh, I'll have both of them. I have login and log out. Okay, so now, but I want only login to appear when I'm logged out. Like, for example, if I'm not logged in, I can now click login and then type my password. And if I want to log out, I can click on the log out right there. But I don't want both these to appear at the same time. So we can take advantage of the registration that we just have or the authentication mechanism that we have in our system so i'm gonna type if request dot user dot is underscore authenticated then we will add this up here else i'll have to log in and i'll end the if statement by typing and if okay so now when I refresh the application I have login because I'm logged out if I click on the login button it's gonna give me the form to login and if I'm login it will not change to log out so I can now click log out and log in again all right okay and again if we are not logged in we don't want these menus to appear what we can do is to Take this line, copy and paste it right above the menus like this. So now if I save it, if the user is authenticated, that's the only time we're gonna see that menu. Like for example, if I click on login and type my username and the password, then the menus will now be displayed. Okay. But at the same time, if I have this URL, for example, user copy this URL and logged out, and then let's say they paste that URL, you can see they are not logged in, but they can still access this form. What you can do with this is to have the same technique in all your HTML pages. Okay. So I'm gonna copy this, go to the computer interview and paste it where I want to restrict the users. I can paste it here and do the end if right here. And if okay, and do the same thing for computer list. Okay, so I can put it right here and there and if and if I refresh the window you can see nothing is displayed or oh, what I can do is else log in here save it and refresh Okay, so I'll have to use it, you have to log in before you need to see those menus. So you can do exactly the same thing for all your HTML pages. Another thing that you can do is to go to views and redirect all the users to the login page if they are not logged in. Okay, but we'll save that for another video. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give us a like button. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, see you in the next video.